Paula Lee. I'm the head coach of women's basketball at BRCC. I'm just embarking upon my 24th year of coaching. You know, it started out in, in elementary, middle school, high school. I have two older sisters. I had one sister who was uh, into athletics and one sister who was into the arts. Uh, she played the piano. And mom told me we need, everybody had to make a decision. Either they were going to be involved in something extracurricular. And after sitting through a number of my sister's recitals, I knew that athletics was the answer. And I had a very uh, influential high school coach. Uh, Don Henry, uh, he was very influential in me deciding that I wanted to be a coach just because the time and the patience that he showed with, with us as a team in high school was just simply impeccable. I actually wanted to continue playing basketball after high school. I went to LSU as an undergrad, so I tried to walk on to the women's team and made it to the final cut, but didn't, that dream didn't uh, work out. And Sue Gunner offered me the opportunity to be a manager for the women's basketball team. And I chose to do that, and she asked me, you know, you ever thought about coaching? And I was like, no, not really. Uh, I want to be a high school coach, but, you know, I'm not sure on the collegiate level or anything. And she actually said, well, you need to give it a shot. Started my coaching career right here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana at Bel Air High School. Uh, then moved on. I coached at LSU for seven years. From LSU, I went to McNeese. From McNeese to Tennessee State University. Uh, then the Southern University of Shreveport. Then I moved to University of Louisiana Lafayette, and then BRCC. I have 16 players on the team right now, and all the personalities are so different. And, and it just, it's never a dull moment in my day, let's say that. The one thing I constantly remind them about is that one, that they're students first. So we definitely preach academics first and foremost. And the next thing I talk to them about is how they represent themselves, their family, the program, and we try to do everything well on a first class basis. And so we kind of steer off, I kind of steer my philosophy around family because, you know, we spend so much time together during the season until you almost have to have your little sister, your big sister, mom, dad, all around you. And that's, that's the one philosophy that I take with me to each and every school that I've been to, that there is life after basketball. Everything is not wrapped up in basketball. You have to be a good individual, a good person, a good teammate, and at the same time you become a good person.